Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice and today I am behind the camera um, because I just got a lot going on and I feel like this is the easiest way for me to show you guys what I've been melting the last two weeks up close and personal. Um, what I can say is that I have gotten through a lot of wax, a lot. I'm surprised. Like my melting basket, I bought this um new little gray basket. You can't see it, but it's like, let me see, can I show you? Like this material. And um before I knew it, it was filled up. So I wanted to jump on here and show you guys what I finished. I did also finish, I think, four candles. I will show you guys those at the end because I actually forgot to bring them with me in here. So, <laughs> um, yes, I hope you guys are having an amazing day today, wherever you are. Here in Georgia, it's kind of gloomy and rainy, so it's like blah today. So I said, let me get out these empties and get this squared away. Um, like I said, it's 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 a lot for me. We're gonna start with Sensi. I finished up Mad for Melon. Did I write scent notes? I did. Juicy Honeydew, Freesia, and Wild Poppy. Um, this was really nice, actually. It was really strong. I melted it. Um, where did I melt this? Cause this been a couple of days ago. I think I. Oh, I know. I melted it in my guest bedroom once and i think i did three cubes in there and then i melted it around the house elsewhere i can't say exactly where but this was a strong um like a medium strength um throw i did enjoy that pink sugarberry mint so i got the camera on the left side today so it's kind of weird for me to be like putting my hands up here to show you guys Anyway, peach sugarberry mint from Sexy is plump raspberry dusted with sugar and hint of peppermint. I love this one for the bedtime. Y'all know me, you know I love um, peppermints for bedtime or anytime really. I will repurchase this one again. I actually got this one and the um, and I think the other one I just showed you in the warehouse sale that Sexy did. Next, we have Peach Nectar. And scent notes are delicate peach skin with blue freesia settled into a bed of billowy musk clouds. This was okay. It was kind of light, light to medium for, for me in my home. But I did pick up on like the peach. It was like peach and kind of floral. So that was nice, but I don't think it's nothing I would seek out. I really enjoyed Pretty and Plum. This was also one from the um, warehouse sale. And it says, Red Plum gets pastry perfect with black coconut and sweet cream. This was so good. It, it smelled like a plum um, dough, like a pastry dough. Bacon. It, I can almost pick up on like a cinnamon note, but I know there's no cinnamon. It doesn't say but Pretty and Plum was really good. I melted this one on a night when it was kind of like just, you know, kind of cool outside. Um, this is definitely to me more fall, but I did melt it because I wanted to. <laughs> you know, sometimes you guys, we get to those, we have those moves. We like, I wanna melt what I wanna melt. I don't care to see anything. Okay, oh snap dragon. This is so good. I'm melting the last three cubes and my warmers in my bedroom today. And it's exotic blood orange and pink pineapple punctuated by fierce snapdragon. I've never had snapdragon besides from Scentsy, but it's just a really pretty citrus fruity scent. I am enjoying this one. It's like a medium color. All right, and the last one from Scentsy is Plumera Peach. And this is ripe pineapple and luscious peach blended over a bed of blooming plumeria. Um, this is kind of like pineapple and a peach floral. 
yeah this is really nice it was like a medium strength i did enjoy that as well moving along with clams i finished up three clams from walmart the first one i'm not going to go into detail on these are golden apple this was like a really sweet sweet honey apple scent i did enjoy that one lemon raspberry donut if you're into um walmart weights you probably have ran across this one i wasn't quite sure about this one at first it smelled good but it was like really heavy i don't know it was like a scent i just was like i don't, I don't know this smelled a little too strong for me but warming it the lemon and the raspberry came together and it was definitely a bakery note in there so i did enjoy that one and I finished up, I had two little cubes of guava peach from Sensationals. It says mouth water and juicy limited edition. This was so dang good. If you like really, really fruity scents, try guava peach from Sensationals. It throws strong. It was very pretty, a very beautiful spring summer scent. Really enjoyed it. I also finished up a Yankee Candle centerpiece, and this is in the Sit Pink Sands. Really nice. This lasts a long time, too. I bought this from, um, where did I buy this from, you guys? I'm getting a brain fog. Um, Kohl's Warehouse. Not Warehouse, but Kohl's. I bought this from Kohl's for, like, 3 or $4. It was on sale, I think, and... I wasn't, this was my first centerpiece because I don't have the actual Yankee centerpiece warmer. But all I did was just like pop this out and chopped it up into my warmers. It lasted like well over a day in my warmers. The next day I could still smell it. But like me, I like to change my warmers out. So I left it going that second day um, to about noon or one o'clock and then I took it out. But this can, if a person don't like to change their weights, get this. This will last you two, three days. I promise you. Marshmallow Cloud Blend from um, the Pharmacy Daughter. This was so good. I don't know what to say. No, it smells like pink sugar and maybe Boardwalk. Um, yeah, BMC Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. It was so girly, so pretty. I enjoyed messing this one in my bedroom one night. Also finished up Sweet Banana Bread from Goose Creek. I melted this with my banana pudding candle from Goose Creek. Um, this is authentic. Like, yeah, this smells like for real banana bread. <laughs> you know, you buy the um, vendor wax or sometimes you get that Laffy Taffy scent. That wasn't this. This was authentic banana bread. Really good. I enjoyed it. It paired well with the candle. I can't tell you if it was the candle or this one that was stronger, but both together just smelled really good like a banana bakery goodness type of day so i did enjoy that all right oh i got some more i told y'all i got through a lot it's crazy I, I don't know what how i get through this way it's like this okay next is pineapple suds um from vcs which is fresh laundry blended with sweet sponge sugar fluffy marshmallows and fresh pineapples this was nice. I melted this in my bathroom. I got two warmers in one of my bathrooms and I did cut it in half and put it in there. It was okay, but it was, it didn't last long. So this was a scent that didn't last all day in my bathroom. And my guest bathroom is like a small bathroom. So normally scents will last all day in there. This did not, so I had to change it out. Um, that was a sample, but I would not purchase that and my dog is wine and I will be right back okay you guys three more small ones I forgot this one which is from sparkles wax melts which is cotton candy fizzy soda pop this was one little piece as you can see the little um square piece it was a sample I melted this in my bathroom it did really really good um lasted all day really good that's uh my first time purchasing from this vendor I did not um post my haul but um i will let you guys know i'm kind of warming some of the clams and stuff that i got but i'm not finished with it yet i finished up windy shores this is so old island fresh game blue musk and lever 2000 from k scented milks this is so strong on that lever so if you like soapy scents 
This was really strong in my bathroom. It lasted forever. <clears throat> I would say pick that one up. Also finished up, finished up a scent shot from um, Glitterati, which is Sunshine and Lemons, which is Yuzu, Grapefruit, Sweet Musk, and Lemons. This is from September 2022. I wanted to melt this one day. I was melting like some lemon bakery around my home and, I put and it did it. so good. So this was really nice, lasted a long time. I do enjoy Glitterati, even though it's kind of hard to get. Before we get into this, all of these, I did finish up, I forgot to show you guys, it's kind of busted and disgusting right now, but Stardust Magic, I did finish up a soap um, from Bath & Body Works. This says Celestial Caramel Swirl, Mystical Vanilla, and Secret Musk. This was nice. I did enjoy that one. It lingered on the skin afterwards. Um, might repurchase that if I saw it again. I had two um, little cookie shapes left in Strawberry Field Birthday Cake from Candles from the Keeping Room. This was so good. I paired this with um, Swanky's Strawberry um, Overload, I think that's what it called, or Strawberry Royale, and both of them together smelled really good. Really enjoyed it. Let's see, you guys. Let's see, let's see. I got through some sassy girl. I got so many brillas, it's, it's not even funny. All right, I did finish two loaves, not it in one melting, y'all. Like, this ain't for me just two weeks melting two loaves. Nah, I can't do that. But I did melt these last little pieces I had of strawberry frosted cookies and strawberry cupcakes. This one is from January, and this one is from August of 2022. So, I love strawberry cupcakes. But this one was my first love, the strawberry frosted cookies. Um, I just ordered a um, yeah, I can't smell in the bag, but I just ordered, I requested it in um on Sex Girl Wrong page, and I ordered it in the bag of box. So I went don't need another loaf in the strawberry frosted cookies, but this is so good. It doesn't last that long. You get a good couple of hours. But those couple of hours were so dang good that I was like, I want more. Same with strawberry cupcakes. I would not get this in a loaf again, but maybe in a brittle or a bag of blocks because I don't need it in a loaf. It's good, but um, I don't know if I would need it in a loaf again. Bag of blocks and maybe a couple of brittles would do me because the loaves, chopping them are a pain for me and they just get messy. So I be wanting to put my stuff in and go. I just finished up strawberry funnel cake. I I don't have a date on this, you guys, but I did talk to you about this one. And this is buttery crust cake bakery, spices, powdered sugar, and strawberry. This was really, really good. Really strong. And it's not even um two, three months old. But I got the strawberry and I got the funnel cake. I do have Julie's funnel cake on its own. So that was nice. Happy to be finishing up some wax. I melted that strawberry funnel cake around my whole entire house and I had another time to melt it. So that lasted a little while. Don't be salty. Y'all see how old this is. This is from 2022. Cucumber rain, salty sea air from Rose Girls. This was really good. I never melted this around my entire house. I only melted it in my bathrooms. And I think the last um, time I put it in like my mini warmers in my hallways, but this was so good. It just, to me, it's like a fresh, um, salty, clean scent. It is so beautiful. Um, I really just enjoy this and I'm not really just a huge cucumber fan, but mixed with the rain and salt to see, it was really good. All right, you guys, we almost there. We almost I got the Moon Mario on the line, another OD from May 2022. Fresh Laundry American Cream, Pink Sugar Zen Clean Masculine. Another one that was like a bathroom, um, clean time type of scent. That's why it lasted me over a year. So I did enjoy that one. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but I did enjoy it. I finished up Luna from um, Hayden Row. I think this is like 
the only I think I only finished like one or two from that order a couple what about a month or two ago that I got. I've been working on the wax, but you know. But this is really nice. I think I have another souffle of Luna. I do enjoy this scent. I don't know the scent notes because it's not on here, but it's a very pretty um kind of perfumey scent. So if you don't like those type of scents, you might not like Luna. But I do like those types of scents. I was holding on and hoarding this little glitterati low from September 2022. I had like two or three pieces left. And I melted. This was so good. And it lasted so freaking long, you guys. Really good. Also finished from um, Sassy Girl Beach Sand Bingo, which is basically Beach Nights Marshmallow and Sugar Cookies. Um, if you ever tried Sassy Girl on Beach Nights, you know it's like the best around and vendor wax and um mixed with the marshmallow and sugar cookie it just basically gave it more a uh, more sweeter smell and i did enjoy that i finished up one of the um sample samplers from um l3 and peeps cotton candy island fresh game this is from the island fresh game sampler i love this one i would order this again i really did enjoy this it was sweet it was clean, it was fresh, so I enjoyed melting this one. We got four more, you guys. Woo, shy, I tell you now. Two more loads. I finished Queen of Cakes from Swanky. Now, I had a full loaf of this, and then I melted a third of it. I actually posted about on my wet's page underscore ways to love the pretty loaf that it was it had a beautiful blue embed a perfume embed queen of cakes is basically um um janine's cupcakes at tiffany blend with like birthday cake marshmallows sugar cookies stuff like that so it's a very decadent bakery scent now i melted like a third like i said and a good friend of mine was like looking for this scent and i sent her a third of the loaf right so i ended up with like this much left sorry for bumping you guys but i didn't have that much left so i went ahead instead of sticking this back in my drawer with a corner piece of loaf left i went ahead and melted it one night um it was at night um good cozy night and it was so good but i can say this did not last long it was strong when it was going like, I was like, oh my God. It actually smelled like chocolate cake and sugar cookies. Like her cupcakes at Tiffany is so good. It's really rich, like rich and dense, but this didn't last long. Or either I went nose my one or the other. And another loaf I finished up that I've been working on. I did not order this in 2021. I wasn't even ordering wax then, but I did get this from a D stash and it's cotton candy clouds from Salt Mountain, which is sugar berry, pink cotton candy, blue cotton candy, strawberry mellow. This was really, I, I enjoyed it when I first started melting it and then I got tired of it, not gonna lie. I, it just was overly sweet for me, like, and I'm a bakery person, but it was just too, too sweet. So... I did enjoy it, but I do not think I will purchase Cotton Candy Clouds. I know. I think this is a favorite um, for a lot of people. It just was too, too sweet for me. Um, but it did throw decent or whatever. And it was a really pretty loaf. Last two is Royal Strawberry Palo Cookies from Delta's. I did post about this one. And this is Sugar Cookies Palo and Strawberry Pound Cake. I got this in March. And I melted this throughout my home. This was so good, you guys. Her strawberry pound cake with the Apollo. Man, that was good. <laughs> I'm really kind of sad. It was cozy. It was like very, like, she has a really good Apollo. It's very kind of like woodsy, though. Like very almost dry woodsy. But with mixed with bakery, it definitely sugar cookies and Apollo goes so good together. But with the strawberry pound cake, it just amped it up. And I was melting my strawberry pound cake candle that night. I enjoyed this night to the fullest. I wouldn't purchase that. And last, we got the melted mousse breakfast on the bayou, which is freshly fried beignets, triple berry compote, and vanilla cream cheese glaze. This I melted one morning. 
because it sounds like a breakfast scent, right? And I definitely can pick up on that cream cheese glaze, which is crazy. When it was melting, you can smell the cream cheese glaze. I can smell the berries, and I can also get some of their fried beignets. It's more doughy, though. It's like a doughy berry cream cheese scent. Very heavy bakery, like, but this was really nice. Um, Melted Mousse has a lot of scents that I, I want to try that I haven't. So before I pick this one up, I probably would try some other scents, but it was, I'm glad to have tried it and it was very good. A very nice bakery scent. I will be back with my candles. All right, guys, I'm back and I got five candles. Yeah, I got five. I didn't know I finished five, but here we are with five good candles. The first one is pineapple mango, which is fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine, ripened raspberries. This one burned down pretty good. Not really, didn't have any issues with this one. I did enjoy this one. It was a very sweet pineapple mango type of scent. Um, when did I melt this? I melted this a couple of times. I melted it with um, Rose Girl's uh, pineapple sugar cookie scent. Really, really good, really good. The next candle I finished up is Lemon Cello and Unicorn Sprinkles. And this is Pink Raspberries, Tangy, Sorrento Lemons, and Fresh Sugar Canes from Bath & Body Works. This one burned down, really no issues. A little soot or soot, but no problems really. This got stronger the more I melted it. Very strong. Overtook anything I was melting that day in my room or anything. This was really good. If this comes back out, I would definitely get it. The raspberries and lemons together makes it smell really sweet, really good. Almost like juicy fruit gone. I really enjoyed Blue Sky Breeze. I really enjoyed this candle. Um, this one is Morning Spring Air Fresh Violet Petals, Crisp Gala Apples, and English Ivy. Dang, this was so good. And um, y'all know what? I did not pick up another one, but I did see it at Sass. I just didn't pick it up because I have enough candles right now. And instead of repeating the ones, I would like to try some newer ones. Let me ask y'all something. How does Goose Creek, if you've ever worn a burnt Goose Creek candles, do they work in your home? Like I have hit or miss with Goose Creek, but I mostly have good good um, performance from Bath & Body Works. Homeworks is another store. It's kind of in between. Goose Creek is okay, but they suit a lot for me in my home no matter how low I trim the weeds. I just want to know, do you guys buy Goose Creek candles? All right. The next one I got from Bath & Body Works that I finished was Blue Orchard Skies. Another popular one I seen kept selling out in my local um, Bath & Body Works, Pink Lady Apple, Soft White Woods, Fresh Orchard Air. This one did good too. Some of the, one of the weeds kind of went down in the west, but it did leave a little dirt but not a lot i'm sorry if you guys can hear my tv i don't know if you should be able to but it sounds like it's loud but this one's really good very strong i'm gonna say this in my bedroom because i like um like fresh air apple type of scent that was really good and the last candle that i finished which was okay it wasn't anything to write home about is blueberry cheesecake from homeworks Melts it down really good. No issues. Melts it down. Look at that. No issues at all. But it was a nice scent. I melted it when I was melting like, um, okay, that um, the melted mousse one I just talked about. I melted it with that one. I melted it with a couple of more blueberry scents. It's nice, but it's, I don't think I would repurchase. It's Wild Main Blueberry Cheesecake Accord Blackberry Jam and Brown Sugar Crust. I've heard people rave about this one. It just doesn't perform really good in my home. So that is everything, you guys. Thank you so much if you stuck around to the end of this crazy video. I had so much. You're probably thinking, how did she get through all of that? I'm telling you, I melt my wax like, and it was a couple of days this week that I didn't get to melt as much as I want to out of my baskets or whatever. Um, but 
if I'm coming and leaving and I come in the house and I can't smell the scent anymore, I will change my wets out. Normally twice a day, but I do have 16 warmers. I tell you guys that all the time. I might even have more around here. I don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot, but this is a hobby I enjoy. And I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you enjoy it too. So yeah, I'm so glad to have this out of my stash now, you guys. It gives me more room to make room for um, new items coming or whatever. So yeah, that's everything, you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. I'm about to wash my hair and um, flat iron my hair again. It's, you know, stuff like that. Stuff girls have to do, you know. But yeah, you guys have an awesome night or day wherever you are. I love you and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.